All right, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to go over determining acceleration rate. Now, a little trick we can plug into the scanner to a nice little useful tool. You might like this. Uh, so, acceleration rate. Um, math shown here is a very useful little uh, little tool for us. Uh, take it as presented, though. Um, so, what you do with this is on you. So, uh, put it right here. I cannot confirm nor deny this will help you in any way on street tuning your vehicle. It won't, however, hurt you. Um, I know that. Uh, so. Um, it's basically going to tell you how fast you're accelerating per second. Uh, the formula is pretty simple. It only uses use vehicle speed measured uh, one second in the past and one second in the future, essentially. Uh, predicting the next section as it, as it progresses. I'll show the formula here in a sec. Very simple. All we're going to do is take the average speed and uh, we'll put that in a period of minus 1,000 milliseconds. And uh, then we'll subtract that from the vehicle speed and plus 1,000 milliseconds. So Basically, it's going to give us a um, a derivative um, of or, or or a rate of change. That's what derivative means. Uh, so that's a rate. Um, so it uh, can be a pretty handy little tuning tool if uh, if you know what you're doing with it. Um, again, not going to get into that part of it, but I'm just going to show you how to put it in and uh, what you do with it's on you. Uh, however, you want to use this, and um, of course, it can be used for many other PIDs, not just speed, and to determine a rate of change. If you want to determine, say, like how fast you're IAC is closing, you could figure it out doing it just like this and using the exact same formula or even um, short term idle trims or any of that stuff. Uh, you can actually determine uh, determine it that way. Pretty cool. Um, or even rate of uh, RPM change, etc. Whatever, whatever it may be, you can change the periods as desired and of course uh, the PIDs as well. Uh, we'll jump right in here in a second uh, in the scanner and um, take a look at uh, how to plug this in. Alright, so this one's really easy to add to the scanner. All we're going to do is go to Tools, uh, go to Math Parameters. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to go all the way to the bottom and make everything easier. I'm going to select the very bottom one uh, for mine. Uh, name, I'm going to call it Acceleration Rate. And uh, I'm going to make a little bit of an abbreviation for it like that. So um, all, it, all it is is uh, we're going to take the mile per hour um, average and uh, we're going to subtract the uh, a 1,000 millisecond range off that, or a um, period, um, and then we're going to put that in all in parentheses like so. And then we're going to subtract the current mile per hour um, average again, and that's going to be basically plus a second. So what it'll do is give us a rate of change. Uh, so you'll see how that works in a second. It's pretty a uh, pretty handy little little tool we can use here. Uh, so all we're going to do is uh, open the parameters here. We're going to add this in. So we go vehicle speed. Uh, comes right up. Of course I don't know what I'm doing so I'm just going to use the generic. So yes. Uh, we'll select that average and we'll go down to the bottom. We'll make this a thousand. And I'll see if it'll let us put a negative in front of it. Nope it does not. That's okay. Um, on the top We'll uh, go ahead and select our miles per hour or whatever it is desired. Um, if you like knots, if you like aircraft and stuff. Um, or we go MP, uh, mile per hour like an American would. Um, and we go down, uh, <clears throat> we got average, thousand, all that good stuff. Okay. Now um, for this, because it wouldn't let us put the negative in, we just add it now. Just like so. We put it all into parentheses because all of this is a subtraction problem and that's an issue. We want to solve that first. Um, so we put it into brackets when I put too many parentheses on the right there. So two on the right, two on the left, we're good to go. Um, we put a subtract, and then we just select the same variable again. Uh, we go equal speed. SAE, yep, again, sounds good. Average, so that mile per hour as well. Um, period's going to be 1,000 again, same. Um, and uh, average, 1,000 milliseconds, mile per hour. Good to go. Yes. Okay. We put this into brackets as well, or parentheses. Excuse me. I keep saying brackets. Um, there we go. So that should work for us. So now uh, we have a uh, workable math here. Uh, should work out um, too easy. So now let's uh, go ahead and add it to the to the uh, scanner down here. We'll go ahead and add that in and see what that looks like. So we'll go to charts layout. We'll add a series, and we'll go ahead and select that new math we just made. Uh, just now. A user defined, scroll to the bottom, acceleration rate, we select that. Uh, we're going to make it three decimals. We'll put the max at, let's say, 20. 
uh, for now until the car gets faster. I believe minimum zero. Now that's optional. You can also determine um, how fast you can stop as well um, with this uh, basically measuring the brakes on the car um, if you're into that stuff. Uh, if not, then just leave it zero. Go down to the color. Um, we'll select yellow. Nice, nice bright color so it's really obvious um, and should be good. We'll leave it with RPM and speed. Kind of makes sense in that area so we'll go ahead and close it. And there we go. There's our acceleration rate. Look at that. So um, as, as we see here it gets up to this car is getting up to around 12.8. Uh, it's getting close to 12.8. There we go. Um, that's that's pretty quick. It's a pretty pretty good little acceleration there. So not too bad. That'll put you in the seat for sure. Um, that's 12 miles per hour per second, and for however long that this occurred. So the longer you can keep it going, the faster you get. So uh, that's how how this works. Um, as you see the gear change at the top, it drops back off, comes back up, and kind of kind of plateaus off and drops a little bit towards the end as we're accelerating into closer to 100 miles an hour here. So this is from zero to a hundred, not too bad. Um, can, uh, nearly not going to add up the time that took, but it was uh, not too bad. I'll say that it's pretty quick. Not a bad, not a uh, not a slow car. So that's how we use this. Now I'm not going to put any uh, hints on the screen here or tell you exactly uh, how to use this, uh, but whatever you come up with here, um, sky's the limit. So uh, that's a pretty handy little number uh, right there. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I'm not going to put anything on screen <clears throat> uh, that could uh, be used to, uh, you know, maybe improve this a little bit. Um, just saying for the street tuner guys out there. Anyway, uh, so that's about it. So um, hope you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I uh, uh, hope it works for you. Let me know what you think of it in the comments, or uh, hit me up on LS1 Tech or HP Tuners, and I'll see you out there.